Hello everybody. We have a question which says what is the value of x if x minus the square root of x is equal to 6? Well, our first step will be for us to move 6 to the left hand side. So we have x minus the square root of x and as 6 crosses to the left, it becomes minus 6. And this is equal to zero. Now our next step will be for us to apply substitution because of the square root of x we have here. So we can just say let the square root of x be equal to m. And since the square root of x is equal to m, we need x. And in order for us to get x, that means we have to take the square of both sides. So this is the square root of x. I'll take the square of the left. This is equal to the square of the right is m squared. Now notice that square can cancel off square root, leaving behind x to be equal to m squared. Very good. So that means wherever we see x, we're going to be substituting m squared. And wherever we see the square root of x, we're going to be substituting m. That means this expression now becomes x, which is m squared. So this is m squared minus. Then this is the square root of x, which can be represented by m. So this is m minus 6 minus 6 equal to zero very good now notice that we have a quadratic equation that is factorizable and looking at negative six the factor that comes to mind of negative six is negative three and two because negative three times two gives negative six and then the addition, which is negative 3m plus 2m, gives negative m, which is the middle term. So, negative 3 and 2 is a perfect factor to use in factorizing this quadratic equation. So, this is m squared. So, we're going to be writing m squared. Then, in place of negative m, I'll be writing this since it is equal to negative m so i'll be writing negative 3m plus 2m and then lastly negative 6 so negative 6 this is equal to 0. now our next step will be for us to factor two terms so the first two terms m is common so i'm going to be factoring out m and now m squared divided by m, I'll have m minus 3m divided by m, I'll have 3. But then I have plus here. Now the other two terms, you notice that 2 is common. So I'll factor out 2, open bracket. Now 2m divided by 2, I have m minus. 6 divided by 2, I have 3. And this is equal to 0. And when you take a good look at what we have here, you notice that m minus 3 is common. So we can factor out m minus 3. So m minus 3 factored out. Open bracket. Now, m times m minus 3 divided by m minus 3, I have m. So this is m plus, and then 2 times m minus 3 divided by m minus 3, I have 2. And this is equal to 0. Now we have two cases. We have for the first case, we have m minus 3 to be equal to 0. And for the second case, we have m plus 2 to be equal to zero so i'm going to be putting all here to show that we have two cases 
Then for the first case, let's call this case 1. The value of m will be as negative 3 crosses to the right, it becomes positive 3. And now for the second case, let's call this case 2. The value of m will be as 2 crosses to the right, it becomes negative 2. Very good. Now, remember, we are looking for the value of x. So recall from our substitution, recall that we said let the square root of x be equal to m, right? Very good. Then after taking the square of both sides, we got x to be equal to m squared from our previous slide. Now let's get the value of x from these two cases. So let's start with the first case when m is equal to 3. So we start with when m is equal to 3. What will be x? x will be equal to m is 3. And this is squared, so we have to square this. So 3 squared is equal to 9. Now let's go for the other case. We say when m is equal to negative 2 is equal to negative 2. What will be x? So x will be equal to m is negative 2. So we're going to be squaring that squared. So negative 2 squared is equal to 4. Now, don't get me wrong. One of these two answers is actually the valid answer to this question. And now let's get to it. All right, let me just write the two values of x we've got. So the first value of x we've got is 9. And the second value of x we've got is 4. So which of these two values of x is valid? Now let's go back to our original equation. Now what I'm going to do is I'll be taking 6 to the left-hand side. And I'll take negative square root of x to the right-hand side. So on the left, I've got x. Now let's take 6 to the left. As 6 crosses to the left, it becomes negative 6. This is equal to, now let's take negative square root of x to the right. As negative square root of x crosses to the right, it becomes the positive square root of x. Good. So notice that the right-hand side is positive. And in order for this to be possible, that means the value of x must be bigger than or equal to 6. Now, judging by these two values of x we've got, 9 is bigger than 6. So this is a valid solution. But x equal to 4 is not a valid solution since it is lesser than 6. So this is not a valid solution. So the only solution we've got for x is x equal to 9. And there we have it. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.